Thank you, um, Commissioner. Chairman, Austin, I know this slogan, President of the Council of School Supervisors and Administrators representing over 6,100 active and 9,000 retired school leaders in New York City. Principals, assistant principals, supervisors, all daycare assistants, funny daycare. Um, we had my testimony, and in the testimony, I raised five critical issues early childhood education, professional development of school leaders, recruitment and retention of school leaders, teacher principal evaluation, and the superintendent accountability. But today, I'd like to just touch on two <coughs> critical pieces while we're here today. The first one is early childhood education. We've heard a lot about students being ready for college and career readiness. We believe we spent enormous time too late. We have absolutely supported the bill that passed the assembly and the Senate with the help of Senator Flanagan and Assemblywoman, Senator Flanagan and Assemblywoman um, Kathy Nolan to finally do a study in the state of New York about all that we're doing in early childhood education. There are so many state agencies involved in educating young children. And yet, no one is on the same page. And by the time they send them to our public schools, we've wasted numerous dollars and resources. And so we have asked this commission to make sure that we take as part of this whole point that we're doing, we take a serious look at early childhood education around the state. Even in New York City now, we're cutting back because of financial obligations, our really strenuous early child programs that we've had. And we believe that is a total mistake. The other issue that I think is really critical is that our union, CSA, over 12 years ago, talked about accountability for school leaders and came up in collective bargaining how we look at the movement of leadership. But the one thing that was always missing is that there was not one movement for how you evaluate the superintendent and the support that they get to the school year and to the school. And the idea that we passed legislation this year, and in the legislation we talk about the superintendent having to have at least one visit to a school. Yet we would never allow a principal to get away with one visit to a classroom teacher. But it seems to be all right that a superintendent can go and visit a school once. What type of support, what type of evaluation, what kind of direction are they giving to the school leader? We want this commission to please come up with a way to hold superintendents accountable for the resources and support that they provide school leaders, whether it's professional development or resources even to be able to provide the education and training for their teachers and students. And I'll leave it right there. Thank you.